Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. Now, today what, should we, what we shall be making is actually quite a good video I reckon. We're going to be using this, which is about an inch round bar. Okay. And for me, the first time, I'm going to be making a pair of tongs. Uh, as I said, these are going to be the first tongs I've ever made. Um, so if it goes wrong, then never mind. If it goes right, then happy days. These tongs are going to be um, used to hold this steel. Now this steel is six centimeter by about half centimeter flat bar, uh, flat stock. Um, and these are going to be used for the hinges for the barbecue. Now, I don't obviously I don't have any tongs that would hold these nicely. Yeah, for instance, these bolt door tongs. I hold it nicely. The reins are all the way out there. I can't really hold it and it wiggles around. That's not very good. Um, you've got flat door tongs here. Which, again, it moves around, doesn't hold it very nicely. Um, so we're going to make a specific pair of tongs to hold this. Now the tongs are going to, they're not going to wrap around this way, around the flat face. They're going to wrap around the small edge here. Okay, that small edge there. Yeah, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy. Alright, so we're going to mark out, I reckon, around that's about 8 inches um, worth of steel. It's going to be nice long tongs. We've got 8 inches, 8 inches, so we've got two 8 inch pieces. We're going to put them in the power hexel. So, um, go off, we need to start forging. Taper down, but it's going to be the actual draw, so I'm going to need to taper that out a little bit more um, so I can bend it around a bit easier. But that tip piece is going to be now left alone um, because uh, that's pretty much where I want it.
So, forging is pretty much about done. As you can see, they look quite identical. Yeah, if I can just figure out, there we go. They close up like that. Now, the problem I'm going to have is alignment. I've never been good at aligning things, um, but that looks to me that looks about right. I like this little gap in between here. I think that's quite aesthetically pleasing. Um, so we're going to find out um, where we want the holes we're going to center punch them then draw them then we can get on to making these draw heads so that they can actually fit onto the metal and then we can hot rivet them together right so we're just going to center punch them so i've just done a light one here just so i know roughly where i want it and i'm going to try and copy that one as best as i can on to this one and the alignment of the jaws and how the jaws look with each other really depends on where this hole is. I'm going to be using 10 mil um, rod for the rivet. So I'm going to drill a 10.5 millimeter hole um, so that rod just has a little bit of wiggle room inside the hole. two holes drilled so what we're going to do is I'm going to get a piece of 10 mil rod that we're going to put in there and just test the alignment I think that alignment isn't too shabby now that we've drilled the holes I'm now going to start forming the jaws here right, so what we're going to do this Back of this, and these, back of this top. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to clamp this in place again and we're going to see if we can form the jaws around that piece again. So those line up quite nicely now. We have made a pair of tongs. They work. That work actually quite nicely. Really, really nicely. I'm really, really pleased with how they've come out. Really, really pleased. All right. We've got a little bit of overlap on the hand on the range, but that's fine. One thing I'm really glad about is that it's only it's an only just to be fair, because if you look, that just doesn't fit. But if you open it up a little bit, then it fits. But what I like about that is I don't have to. Let's say if that were, if these were the open reins down here, okay, so if these are the parts of the reins that are down here, I don't have to hold it like this all the time and a hammer. I can just have a comfortable grip quite close together. Uh, it gives me a lot more leverage and it's, yeah, it's really nice. Really, really nice. I'm really pleased with how they came out. Very big, as ever. These are ones that I bought from a place. That's the comparison to size. Yeah, mine are a lot bigger. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, so for the first tongs, I don't think they're too shabby. They work. They're not pretty, but again, I'm just looking for more, more so functionality than looks at the moment. But obviously, if I make more of these, then my skill set will get better. I'll have more idea of what I'm actually doing. So yeah, I'm really pleased with how they came out. You can even hold it. Right down. Yeah, where you want it to. Right down. Yeah, it's nice and sturdy all the way around. 
really, really nice. So, next thing we're going to do is before we clean it up and oil it up, let's put a touch mark in it. So now we've got what looks like a quite lengthy job of cleaning this up with the wire brush. There you go, it's all cleaned up. Lovely, so now let's oil them up. Thank you so so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I made a pair of tongs. <laughs> I am um, ecstatic that I've actually made a pair of these. Uh, first pair of tongs. Again, they're not pretty, but they work, which I'm happy with. I prefer practicality to looks. To be fair. Okay. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Um, please like if you liked the video. Comment what you liked, what you didn't like. If there's any projects like this that you'd like me to do, um, or if you'd like me to film and post on YouTube then please put down in the comments. Subscribe if you haven't already, please turn notifications on so you do not miss out on any new videos and I hope you have a great day. Hope to catch you in the next one. Thank you, bye bye.